Welcome back to a quick update on the water water heat exchanger. This is a heat exchanger you may recognize from the other videos. This is what I was using last year. One of you in the comments section brought to my attention the reactive nature between copper and chlorine. This heat exchanger was extremely inexpensive. It was a yeah, next day delivery, easy to get from Amazon. Just try and kind of used it as a trial. Based on the comment I saw and doing a little bit of research, I realized that there is a difference between heat exchangers and they do make heat exchangers specifically for swing pools. So I got this which won't fit in the frame. This is a water-to-water -water heat exchanger designed for pools. This is 316 stainless. They actually sell a titanium one that was a little bit out of budget. The path of the water for the GPU goes through this one inch inlet here through these little pipes, all stainless, all welded, no copper inside, accessible to this. And then the pool water actually goes in. If you're feeding in this way with the GPU coolant, you would actually feed in this side with the pool water and do cross flow. I believe it should have pretty decent heat transfer. I mean, it's, it is stainless, which isn't quite as good as thin sheets of 304 with copper brazing, but uh, I imagine it's gonna be pretty decent. There's a lot of surface area here. I think it's gonna do pretty well and it should solve any issues with corrosion. I can't quite make it out, but there's small holes inside that coincide with the tube. Very simple design, very robust design, much better suited to chlorine and pool water. 